too. Hi, enjoy every moment. Can't wait for the next 45 minutes. Yes, what do you have to show us? All right, so you talked about uh, content creation, and we're going to show a simple example of an application everybody's so we familiar with. So we try to run it. We say that people like to make, to create, to create content. People are not only consuming content. Let's look at the example. What are you doing over here? So we just took a collection of about six photos, and we're just going to create Picasso. a slideshow movie in Picasso. And you take just picture, you click one button, yep. and you want to create a movie out of it. We can exactly. see the performance, it takes 42% of the CPU, but we don't care about it, do we? We just want to see the result done. We see the turbo kicks in to 3.1 gigahertz, exactly. and in a second it's going to be done, and we'll be able to watch the pictures as a movie. Yep, yep. But you can see the level of performance that's needed even to do something really basic and simple. And if I have a basic PC, this would have taken ages to do. It would take you quite a bit longer, and if you don't have a short attention span, you know, you're off to watching Jerry Springer on the couch and not going to even bother with it. And it's really disruptive for you to be a team. Okay, yeah. you know, so that's Picasso, that's it, but can you show me something more sophisticated? Yeah, let's talk about uh, high dynamic range. And so for this demo, we're going to go ahead and compare it to a uh, three-year-old Portrait Duo system. And let me high go ahead dynamic and, range. Let me go ahead and get it started here, and then we can explain what we're actually doing. So I've got a photo here of... Typical weather in Ireland, right? Overcast, not really the best. Uh, image isn't necessarily the most eye-popping image that you might want to have. With HDR, you can actually take three images, combine those together to so create a much three better Three images, image. different exposure, whatever, and then I let the computer combine the three images and try to get the best image out. So this is an example, we take three yeah. images, and then the computer needs to do the hardware real time. Yeah. Why would you show us the results while the computer is trying to do it? So there we just finished actually on our system here. And uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at all the different examples that we have here. Let me go ahead and pull up a variety of different examples and we can of see HDR. Before and after. Yeah. This is a picture before, this is the picture and after. You can see the difference of the quality as we do it. So I don't want to scare you all of the guys in the first row, but pretty soon you'll be redundant. We'd be able to replace the photographer with some smart computer power. <laughs> no, no offense, guys. Not everybody is. Okay, fine. Let's go on. All right. But um, you know, this is still, still, but you know, we're speaking about the fact that the people are moving over to video. Yes, and let me tell you, I like to wander around the world. I've got hours of video that I don't know what to do with What's it. How do I make something? But sense, make some sense out of it. Yeah, so we have an application here from CyberLink called Power Director, and they actually have a nice little feature called Magic Cut. So all we have to go in is tell them, uh, you know, put the collection of clips that we want on our timeline, say, let's, you know, go ahead and just create a 30 second quick clip here. And then it's going to go through and do all the analyzing and all the hard work. So amazing. I've got a six minute video. I say, I want 30 minute, 30 seconds, or one minute video. Go and do it. How does it know? It's our algorithm. If you zoom in and zoom out, probably it's interesting. If you go to the same object three times, probably it's something you are interested. It analyzes the video and gives you a clip which it believes it's the best one to fit you. And you can change the knobs if you don't like it. But it can be done real time while you are sitting next to your computer. And we just finished it, I believe. Yeah. And Go ahead and pull up the clip. And what we see over here is a clip that was just generated. So those of you that have got hours of clip and you want to test the computer how smart it is and try to compact it, it's one clip. You don't need to be a computer wizard or you don't have to have hackers as a friend in order to be able to do it. There's another thing I believe that we see more and more because still people say, would you need all this great performance? What we have over here is an application which is ready for everybody. This is for shopping. You can just look at the computer and try glasses. <laughs> look try, to imagine, try to imagine how beautiful it is. By the way, we are trying to slow down the dresses because it will have major impact on our income. But, <laughs> but overall, you can see, and this is done in 2D. Try to imagine the same picture three-dimensional, and it's not if, it's when. You try the glasses, so you try to dress, you are trying to do it, and guys, there's no alternative. You need to do it on the computer, locally, real-time. Otherwise, you will not have the experience that you get right here. This is the one that I like, the red one. I tried it, it looks like that. By the way, you look weird if you don't notice. Thank you. All right, thanks, Roman. All right. I agree.